Hello, it's Olimik. Have you started your car and noticed a rough starting or lack of response when accelerating? We all had that feeling after a few years having our car, thinking that it was so powerful when we first bought it, and now it consumes more fuel and not giving us that much power. So in this video, we will restore all that lost power and make it consume less fuel like it was before. There are some other factors like cleaning fuel injectors or throttle body, but this video is not about them. It's about intake valves that look like like this and not maintain it or clean it if you're wondering adding fuel system cleaner will clean this if your car direct fuel injected the answer is no because the fuel and the cleaner injected directly on the pistons and has no contact with the intake valves that's why it's called direct fuel injected and with indirect fuel injector cars it will clean it because the fuel injector is spraying fuel on the valves and washing it out every time spraying fuel but it won't have a contact with the back of the valve so it's not gonna be like how I will show you in today's video so for cleaning intake valves we will be using sandblaster just like professional garage but if you take it over there it will be super expensive and I'm not talking about buying expensive equipment I will be using the sandblaster gun out of the box it works like this but after some modification it will be working like this and this is what we want so there are other ways for cleaning intake valves with brush and cleaner but the process is a bit messy and you're not gonna get that result that we are getting with sand blaster gun so this is the valve that controls how much sand we want to blast and i'm gonna change this nozzle tip to this eight millimeter tube which it will put me aside and not be in the camera view and here you can connect the sharp air and for that i'm using a 50 liter compressor but you can use smaller as well and for cleaning we're gonna be using walnut shell and the size will be 0.4 to 0.6 millimeter to keep everything clean and not make a mess i designed this adapter which will be placed on the valve port suction all the walnut shell while we are blasting with the gun so if we don't have this the valve port will be full and the injected walnut shell not gonna hit the valve anymore and not cleaning so if you don't have a 3d printer to turn your design into physical object here is the solution this video is sponsored by pcb way think about pcb way as all-in-one platform for cnc machining 3d printing sheet metal fabrication and injection molding if you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3d print quality this is the way to go you just have to upload the stl file here choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days pcbway is linked in the video description box below for more information thanks to pcbway for sponsoring this video there are also companies that make these adapters for a variety of cars and now it is time to modify the gun so we're gonna need 5.5 and, and 4.5 mm drill bit. Remove the tank and also this valve. Drill the tank with 5.5 mm drill bit and also here with the same size. The valve with 4.5 mm drill bit. Now we're gonna put it back and the opening is way better than before. Putting back the o-ring and then sliding the tank. Tightening these two screws and we are done. So for removing intake manifold on this Nissan Kicks, we have a bolt here, one here, here and here and another one here and one in the middle so removing intake manifold will be different from one car to another so if you guys want to see a detailed video about this let me know in a comment section below and i will upload the video all right after removing the intake manifold there is only one thing you should know before cleaning one valve will be open and we're not going to clean that one and in this moment if we look at with endoscope camera this valve is closed this one also closed and this one is open so we're not gonna clean this one otherwise all the cleaner will enter combustion chamber and this one is closed as well all right this is the time we are waiting for let's put the vacuum and the endoscope camera from the injector hole and then blast it with walnut share Alright, we're gonna stop a bit. It's a good idea to move the endoscope camera so we can see where have we missed and where it doesn't need cleaning anymore. So here are the places we missed and now we're gonna clean these and we are done here. And here is how it looks now after blowing some air and cleaning all the dust. Alright, I'm gonna clean the camera and move to the next valve and do the same procedure. Alright, I just cleaned these two valves. I'm not gonna clean this one because it's open until I turn the crankshaft to close it. 
but now I will clean this one. Alright, I just cleaned these three intakes. Now I'm gonna rotate it from the crankshaft till it closes this valve and then we're gonna clean that one. Alright, this valve is closed now. Now we're gonna double check it and it's closed now and one of them will be open. And in this case, this one is open. So I cleaned this one just like I cleaned these. Alright, all the intake valves clean now, now I'm gonna double check it. The cleaning result like a day and night, you will never get result like this with any cleaner. It's almost like a brand new now, it's way better than cleaning with a brush and cleaner. I also cleaned this surface where the gasket sits, now I'm gonna clean the intake and then put it back. The gasket in pretty good condition, so I'm gonna remove it and clean it only, and it's a good idea to remove the throttle body and clean it outside, since the intake manifold is already out. It was a good idea to remove it because from the front you can see it's clean but from the back there is so much carbon. So I'm gonna use throttle body cleaner and spray it in the front and also in the back to clean all that. Alright throttle body back on the intake manifold let's put it back tightening all the bolts and torquing to the manufacturer spec again. So with the starting up you will notice right away because we have better airflow now. Having carbon on the valves will slow the airflow and also create an air turbulence. Even the throttle response is way better than before. All the products and the tools I used in this video will be in the video description box below. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.